With no regular visitors, these furry friends can start to feel a little unloved. So every day we do our bird flight show, we bring the wombats out for a cuddle, the koalas have a cuddle, we bring out the pythons and the handling crocodiles. The Billabong Sanctuary in Townsville was forced to close last month, but staff still have plenty of work to do. So we're really trying to cater to the ones that we know um, do really enjoy that attention and we give them extra cuddles and love uh, as well. The birds are keeping busy by rehearsing in front of empty seats. Potentially if they stop flying for maybe even a week, uh, we could see some decline in their, their behaviour and it could kind of throw the bird show off altogether. But they're missing the company of spectators. The interactive birds are certainly missing it, uh, especially Jacko as well. After Cyclone Yasi in 2011, animals suffered when the park had to close for 10 weeks. Tonka the wombat, who was dependent on human contact, refused to eat and lost weight. We had a good lesson after Cyclone Yasi that if you don't continue the routines, then when you've reopened, um, the animals um, have lost it. Usually visitors would be lining up to give Wanda the Wombat a back scratch, with dozens of people attending two daily wombat shows. Now carers are working tirelessly to show these animals lots of love. A job they're more than happy to do. Chloe Shimicki, ABC News, Townsville.